Hello Internet, my name is Ace and today I'm going to be doing a first look of Expressy. I was recommended this software to try out by quite a few different people, so I thought I'd download the demo and see if I like it. So what Expressy is, is it's supposed to emulate with a really sophisticated paint engine, the feel and look of Eastern watercolors. So getting those really nice ink brushes and everything like that. And the first thing I was surprised about is there is only one brush. You can pick whether it's thin or, or, or fat, etc. But there's only one brush. And with that, you can get very expressive lines from very thin to very fat. You can load the water up like I'm doing now, wetting the, the paper. And um, you can see how the things sort of blend into each other. And like I say, it's only one brush, but you can still do a lot of things with that brush. So if you back down the water like a ton, then you can get very kind of very dry brush, inky feeling lines. Um, you can have multiple, you can load the brush with multiple colors like I'm doing here. And as you can see, it's got that watercolor effect where they bleed into each other. Now, the only other software that kind of goes into this much detail with the the physics of the watercolor and how things blend together and everything like that, that I've found so far is called Rebel. Now, Rebel has a number of different brushes. It has an acrylic brush, it has the watercolors, it has uh, pastels and a few other things. And the UI is so much better on Rebel. The UI on this is is terrible. And I kept coming up with problems like here. The thin lines are happening when my brush is not even touching the screen. So on all these lines that, that are joining these points together, my pen was hovering above the screen and I was still registering. Now this didn't happen all the time. It seemed to be a bug within the software, but it happened uh, multiple, definitely multiple times. But as you can see, the actual blending and the technology behind the blending is very impressive. Some things do not react how you'd expect watercolors to react. Like that purple went all the way through the color then, through that big block of color in the middle, and it didn't really blend in the new color. So it's, it's not exactly how watercolor feels, how watercolor reacts. And on here, look, these very thin lines that I'm wiggling now, these were with the pen a, maybe half an inch away from the glass so it, it's it's definitely registering that my pen is pressed down when it's not and it did this multiple times so like i said earlier the ui is a mess yeah you can the the thing that i did prefer to rebel was the tilting of the page so you can you can actually hook up different things like uh, tablets and things like that. So you can, when you tilt your tablet, it's as if the paper is moving. And the graphic, when you're tilting the paper, it looks like you're moving paper around. Aside from that, the UI was, was just terrible. It, it was very unintuitive. I still, I, I spent 45 minutes, an hour with it, and I still don't even know how to zoom in. Uh, I'm sure it's there and it should be simple, but it, it's just not. There's just quite a few things, quite a few problems with the UI that it felt like the technology came first and then the actual design of the program came secondary. Whether it did or not, I'm not sure. But I think because there was multiple bugs, it did crash once on me. I think it's nearly there. Uh, I, the UI definitely needs improving and a, a few brush engine things do need tweaking but it was nice to have something that's dedicated to watercolor my only issue again with the ui and things i mean it's nice just having one brush and being able to go like that but when you're constantly fighting with menus and tweaking things and not sure how things are going to react and you don't know how to zoom in and loads of things like that it becomes it becomes an issue. You, you're very conscious that you're working digitally. Whereas something like Rebel, it's a little bit more straightforward. 
it's still I still have my problems with Rebel. The engine's very slow. It uses a ton of CPU, and it, it's just not. Even, even though I was working on an i7 uh, Cintiq Companion 2 with the maxed out chip, maxed out gigabyte, uh, gigabytes of RAM, everything like that, it was still lagging and felt like it was going to break, like quite often. With Expressy, the CPU hog is definitely less, but it's just not very fun to use. So if they can fix those in the in the future, I'll definitely recheck it out again. But for now, I mean, download it, go to expressy.com, I think the website is. Check it out, the demo, it's free, and let me know if, if you got on better with it. Leave a comment down below and let me know your experience with it and whether I should give it a, another go and what I should do within that software. Okay, until next time, have an awesome, awesome, awesome week, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. If you want to support me and in turn grab some awesome goodies for yourself, such as alien extra videos and Google Hangouts with me, for as little as a dollar a month, head on over to patreon.com slash aceconnell. I'll see you there.